Okay, this is about the best I'll get, I think. Welcome back to the Broke Let's Play. <clears throat> you seem to like the way it looked in the last episode, so I'm gonna try to get it recording better in this terminal. This is about my 13th, I think, time trying to get the window to size properly. <laughs> it's a real pain in the ass. It's because the window is so awkwardly sized. Right now I have to record by in like 640 by 992 and if I go to 641 then you can see the uh, window frame and if I go to 993 you can see just off of the window and with the window size this way it looks like it's getting cut off at the edges a little bit. I mean, the actual like game screen is getting cut off. So, yeah, this is a pain in the ass. Oops, that's water. But you lot seem to like the way it looked better last time than the previous episodes. So, I'm gonna try it. No, I don't want to jump down into the depths. I like that it asks, because I'm very good at just sort of falling into things when they don't give me a warning like that, especially when I'm recording. Um, normally when I play roguelikes, like on my own time, I don't keep moving quite as much as I do in recording. I stop and think about what I'm doing a lot more. Which is fine when you're playing alone, but it's very boring to watch. So I try not to do that when I'm actually recording. Is there no key on this floor, or is it just in like a secret room or something? Because I haven't seen it. Huh. Yeah, I guess it's hidden somewhere. Maybe? That would make sense. I don't know. But, yeah, anyway, like I, like I was saying, um, I normally take a lot more time to think about what I'm doing, and when I'm recording, I try not to do that because it's really boring to watch, and you all come here to watch me fail anyway, so it's better if I don't actually spend the time trying to plan how I'm going to get out of a situation. Okay, I do have darts. Right, so throw dart at float and get the fuck out. You can handle a jackal, that's fine. I just don't want to be around there when the float's in there. Let's try some of these potions. Oops. Yes, I'm on fire. I get that. Okay. So we know what our incendiary potion is now. Telepathy. And... Potion to fall down a fucking hole. Okay. Ooh, charm. A recharging charm. That's handy. I'm gonna... Okay, enchantment... Do I want to enchant the charm or do I want to enchant... I think I'll enchant my armor actually. And magic mapping. Cool. Okay, so have a general idea of what- yeah, this wall over here is definitely getting cut off. Eh, fuck it. I'll worry about it next time. Because like I said, if I add one pixel to it, it will- eh, one pixel might be enough, actually. But last time I tried it with just a difference of one, it actually 
went off the window itself and you could see the background, the desktop background rather. Did I aggravate the monsters or are they just sort of walking in my general direction because they're assholes? Okay. That went better than I was expecting. In one of the failed versions of this, I actually got my ass beat by one of those goblin conjurers. So, things are going a little bit better. Should probably take the time to actually stop and heal. I sense a cobalt. Oh, it's all the way over there. That's fine. I kind of want to go back up a floor. Once I'm done with this floor, I might go up instead of down to finish off the floor we fell from. I'm gonna step off the grass and read that. And it's a summon monster. Ooh. Okay. So that didn't last long. Yeah. We can get another character in. That didn't last very long at all. Playing pretty poorly today, I think. I don't even know if I mentioned the um, actual plot insofar as there is one. Ooh, sphere. How much strength do I need for that? Will increase my damage, lower my accuracy. That's... Huh. That seems pretty reasonable, actually. One more strength would be ideal, but... In the meantime, it's still better than my dagger. So that's pretty good. Hopefully I will get lucky with this potion, and I will not. I'll get confused with this potion instead. So let's... Does the confusion gas not clear up? Okay, there it goes. Huh. That lasts a lot longer than I expected it to. Ooh, the staff. Is there a monster I can see from here? Yes. Oh, no. I can see him, but I can't aim at him. Okay. And that's the cobalt that I saw earlier, I think. Yeah. Ooh, a key. I want a key. I don't know if I've seen the door that it goes to. Okay, you. I will test my staff on you. Ooh. Broke the wall? Damn. Hey, monkey friend. Out of my way, I'm getting a monkey friend. Yes, monkey friend. Hello! It's been a while since I had one of you. Okay, well, there's the door that the key goes to. Now I just need to find the key itself. I'm not sure how to get to it. Not yet, anyway. Should be a path. Ooh, actually, it doesn't look like there will be. So what was that staff? A staff of tunneling. Burst of magic will pass harmlessly through creatures, but will reduce walls and other inanimate obstructions to rubble. Ooh, that sounds handy. I'm gonna actually try a potion while I'm here. Levitation. Do I levitate over water? I do. The stone bridge extends from the floor with a grinding sound. 
Okay, let's get out of here before the trap that I inevitably triggered actually does anything. Okay, Staff of Lightning, Ring of Stealth, an Axe, a Ring of Wisdom, or Plate Armor. Hmm. I kind of want the Staff of Lightning. I think the extra range would be nice. Ring of Stealth is pretty good too, though. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Staff. I like zapping things. And that's enough of this floor. I'm happy I got that uh, tunneling thing. What are you? Potion of Strength. Good. So now our spear should be significantly better. Yeah, now the damage is a lot better and our accuracy is significantly less dropped by it. Good, good. So. Let's try out that staff we just got. Okay, well, it's got enough kick behind it to kill a jackal in one shot. It's good to know. I didn't mean to step on that, but it didn't hurt anything at least. And another scroll. Identify scroll. Um, well, identify this other scroll. Scroll of protect armor. Okay, I'll hold on to that because right now we just have our leather armor, which isn't that good. Another potion of strength, which I will just chug right now. There's no reason not to. There might be, um, there's probably an enemy later on that reduces strength, like the rattlesnakes in Rogue, or like the giant ants if you played older versions of Rogue, but, I don't know, they seem a lot rarer in this game than in old Rogue. Hey, a mango. Whatever happened to our monkey? I don't know where he went. Something tells me I shouldn't test potions while I'm standing on flammable substances. Are you our monkey friend? No, you're just a monkey. So, let's zap you. Oh. Okay, well, it didn't one-shot the monkey, but it did a good job of weakening it. Let's test some of these potions now. Actually, let's finish the floor and then test the potions, because I'm fairly certain at least one of them is going to drop the floor out from under me. And I don't really want that to happen while I'm still exploring. I like to... I don't know. One thing I like to do in roguelikes, just in general, but in this game in particular, is I like to explore levels and get whatever I can from them early on because later on you end up running into monsters that you just can't kill. Like, the monsters later on tend to be a lot tougher. Okay, hallucination. Potion of life. And it got rid of my hallucinations. Eight. Fire immunity. So I'm fast, immune to fire, and very invisible. That's weird. These two skulls start with the same first word. I don't see that much. Okay, enchantment. I will enchant my spear. And protect weapon. Cool. Okay, that definitely went pretty well. I was expecting it to be a lot worse, actually, but... Haste wears off pretty fast. I didn't realize that. Zap. Wow, that rat survived. That's pretty impressive. 
a tough little rodent. Hello. Goodbye. Oh, I'm still invisible too. Liking the staff. Oh, broadsword. Do I have the strength for that? That's protected, so I don't want to throw away my spear. Um, I do not have the strength for that. Oh, I don't think so, anyway. Besides, my spear is protected, which is nice. So. I don't really want to... Oh, well, now that I have an extra protect armor, I might as well protect my leather armor. Is he lightning me? What? Okay, that fizzled. I'm gonna protect my armor. There's no reason not to. Now, because I have an extra and they don't really stack. Huh. Having the armor protected multiple times over doesn't actually do anything as far as I'm aware. Ouch. Okay. Well, that's why we test potions on non-flammable surfaces. Because if I were on the grass, the fire would have moved as fast as I did. Why is that monkey a different color? I don't know, but I'm gonna zap it. Um, oh, our spear is a plus one spear. Cool. Wait, didn't we enchant it? Yeah, I think I did. So it must have just been like a regular spear. Oh well, it's still better than our dagger was. Huh. Seems like there should be a secret around here for some reason. Oh well, where's our staff of tunneling? And more tunneling. This does make it a lot easier to get around, I have to admit. Another broadsword. Another spear, some food. Another scroll of enchanting. I'm not even hungry yet, wow. So, P is the scroll of enchanting, and I will enchant the spear. I have another protect armor. I'm going to try that potion. Ow. I fell down a hole. Chainmail. Good. And I should have the strength for that, too. Yeah, so that's better for me. And now I will protect it. Good. And magic mapping. Nice. What? level are we on? Depth 4. Okay. So, some early lava. Titanium wand. I have that charm of recharging too, don't I? Or was that last character? That was the last character. Never mind. Oh well. Is this? No, this isn't lava, is it? No, okay. This is like swamp. Let's try out that ring. Does it give us any information about what it does? Um, no. I need to wear it for 1500 more turns to find out what the fuck it does. Okay. That's not ideal, but it doesn't appear to be cursed. So, it could be worse. More protect armor. More monkeys. I'm gonna try out that wand on you. Um. What'd that do? The 
Apparently I don't know what it did. Oh. Okay. I invisibilized the monkey. Well, it's not particularly useful, but... I don't know. Maybe I can target myself with it. That's the case, it's pretty useful. Wow, I hope you can hear that. Somebody downstairs just sneezed and I could hear it all the way up here. That was pretty bad. Uh, what do you do? Anything? No idea. Okay. I don't have anything to try, so. I'm not even hungry yet. Holy shit. Ooh. Um. Um. Running away. Okay, choke point. Good. <sighs> okay. So, I'm thinking that ring might have activated all the monsters on the floor. That seemed... or maybe it summoned them? I'm not sure. Either way, that was... Definitely not something I wanted to have happen. These jellies are pretty annoying, actually. They're not usually that tough, but they can be. And I will... No, because I know that it invisibilizes, so I will do that. Now, zap the monkey. Zap the monkey. Good. And grab my leather armor back. And I'm hallucinating from a toad. Wonderful. Well, presumably from a toad. That's usually what makes you hallucinate. At least this early on. Hello, secrets. Ha. Kill the monkey at sleep. Okay. Next floor? Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, apparently I have to hallucinate more first. I didn't want to disable the color effects. Hit the wrong button. Uh, pink jelly? Yeah, the jellies are your normal, like, RPG type slime enemy that splits up when you hurt it. Oh, I'm finally hungry enough to eat something. I'll eat that mango. My, what a yummy mango. I haven't had a mango in a very long time, actually. I kind of want one now. I don't know where I can get one, though. I don't think the grocery store by here sells them. And let me zap you. I don't think that titanium wand actually works on me, now that I think of it. So it might be a good idea to just throw it away or something. Making enemies invisible is not particularly useful to me. At least not that I know of. There might be a way to make it useful. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, that didn't do much. Now I'm hallucinating. But this was just like a rat or something. So I'm not overly concerned about it. Potion of strength. Drink you. I really want to know what these do. I have two scrolls of protect armor again. Actually, I might want to. Because I don't need that. I don't need that. Um, I don't really need broadswords. Am I not dropping any of this?
the mace I'll hold on to because that thing definitely looks like it's going to hurt quite a bit when I actually get around to get enough strength to use it. So I'm going to hold on to that. 172 pieces of gold. How much gold am I up to? Not actually sure. Oh, hey, a line of goblins. Out of charges. Wonderful. What? Did I just kill two in one shot? Oh, there's a totem here. I should kill that. Oh, there's a kobold running around over there. I don't really care about him right now. It's in this room. I think after this room I'll move on. Yeah, that seems to be everything on this floor except for these. Which I can zap. Reflects off a wall mounted torch. What? It's because it's on the stairway, that's why. Okay, so I guess I have to go a long way to get to that. Well, that's annoying. Come on, bud. Keep doing that. It's like a pack of monkeys running around over there, too. I don't know if monkeys actually travel in packs, but they probably do. Should be a secret around here. Right? Maybe not. Huh. Maybe over here then? There it is. Fire immunity. That's actually pretty useful. Cyan. Confusion. Okay. Um. I'm gonna drink that potion of fire immunity and walk over to this. Okay. Um, let's throw that fusion potion over here. What is that? A goblin mystic captive. Okay. So I might be able to get a goblin friend, but first I'm gonna confuse the fuck out of them. Vampire bats. Um, hmm. Damn it. Really hoping that would be something good, so I didn't have to run away like a coward. Bats are pain in the ass. Please die. Please die. Please die. Good, that killed it. Is that everything then? Okay, there's healing pods down here. So I'm gonna go heal. And apparently trip over monkeys. But mostly heal. How long am I gonna be blinded, I wonder? Toad, I don't really want to bother with you. So, I'm happy I confused these fuckers at least. Definitely could have gone worse. Let's free you. It's a dagger and a yellow potion. Ow. 
Oh, no, he healed, he protected me, good. And I'm being, like, shot at. I don't know what I'm being shot at by, but I'm being shot at by something. Probably a kobold, to be honest. Um, I'm wearing my protected stuff, right? Yeah, that's protected, that's protected. Good. Absorption. Glowing runes of absorption adorn the chain mail. It will reduce the damage of inbound attacks by a random amount between 0 and 2, which is 5% of your current maximum health. If the chain mail is enchanted, this maximum amount will increase to 3. Ooh, I like that. I'm gonna zap this acid mound. I don't know if they actually hurt you at all. I can't remember now. Speaking of enchanting. Okay, so our staff is a bit better. Considering it's my primary uh, ranged weapon, that's a good thing. Reflects off the stone wall and hits something over here. I like that when it reflects off of a wall, it actually does. Ooh, ring for regeneration. How long for this one? Only 133 turns. It's not so bad. Plus three ring for regeneration. Ooh. All of your health in 128 turns instead of 300. That's pretty handy. I like that. So is there a way down to where I'm being shot at from? I guess I have to go the long way. Or I can try to make a path for myself. Like so. Oh, wonderful. Bloats. I'm just gonna throw stuff at them until they go away. And a plus one ring of awareness. That's nice, I think. What does that do? Um, nose traps and secret doors without searching. Okay. That is pretty handy, actually. Because I don't usually take the time to actually search unless I have a suspicion that there's something right there. Yeah, I'm just zapping these from a safe distance. Ha! <laughs> Two for one. Nice. Will you stop shooting me? Well, now I know what's shooting me. I thought those were doors, but apparently not. They're sleeping, so I don't want to... Oh, I have a potion that I don't know what does. Kills me. That's what it does. Good to know. Well, could have been worse. Could have tried to throw it in the middle of a fight or something. So I'm gonna let the poison gas clear out. Okay. Hello, monkey. Zap? No. No zap. An unidentified po scroll. Remove curse. Okay, that was kind of a waste, but could have been worse. All of ours. I've been getting really lucky with stuff, actually. charges. Mm. It's not good. For some reason I think there's a secret in here. 
This looks like there would be. Guess not. Huh. I haven't even found the stairway out of this floor yet, like have I? I don't think so. Might have. Yeah, I have. Never mind. It's over there. I'm gonna try to zap. Just trying to weaken it before it gets to me. Or just kill it outright, that works too. I'm not gonna complain about actually winning a fight. Ow! Ogre, shit. Um, um, um. Ooh, shit, shit, shit. Uh, are you good against ogres? Not particularly. It's off balance though, so I'll try to hit it. Okay, well, guess what we're doing. The vampire bats can follow us down, but the ogre cannot. <sighs> that was pretty bad. Jumping down a pit to escape something is pretty unideal. The, the alternative seems to have been dropping dead from ogre wounds, so I'm pretty content with how that worked out. The bats didn't even follow us, which I'm surprised by. Uh, flying enemies can follow you down, like, any pit like that. So, it's not a good way to escape some enemies. Is that another ogre? That's an ogre, isn't it? Right here. Yeah. Huh, I didn't know I gave you all this sort of information about them. If... I don't know, I wish there was a keyboard look function. It hits for 27% of my health. At worst, could defeat me in three hits. Okay. So, TLDR, leave it alone. So, I'm... I'm gonna try to avoid going over that way. Last thing I need right now is more ogre wounds. I'm not strong enough to fight it head on. I can probably handle these. Oh, bog monster. Let me. Yeah, bog monsters are annoying because they don't let you go. And it's not actually taking much damage from me. And yeah, I died. <sighs> Killed by a bog monster on level 7. Oh, oops. Okay. Well, that's all folks. See you next time.